Hello there, that's better. Now today we'll be looking at a few Lego alternatives and creating a display for my Star Wars minifigures. And before any of you flood to the comments, I'm not going to be standing any minifigures on these bricks. And I'm actually going to be looking at buying some of the panels for my minifigures to stand on so that they're not even on Lego studs as to not wear down my figures over time as I'm sure most of these minifigures will remain on display for quite a long time. But let's get into this box and I can tell you more about it. So while I'm opening this box, I did pick it up at Home Bargains, which is a store in the UK. And I went there on Wednesday and it was actually where I saw the Minecraft new Lego Axolotl set in the B&M next door. And I still can't believe that I haven't seen it anywhere since, especially after going to the biggest Lego store and even Hamley's up London, which is the biggest toy store as it covers over seven floors of all different toys. So be sure to check out them videos if you wanna see. And also I have these two bricks here, which are my own Lego brick or Lego alternative rather that I've created as well as these two Lego bricks. We were lucky enough to get gifted in the Lego store. And if you wanna know the importance of these bricks, do check out that video. But these two bricks I actually 3D printed myself on my own personal 3D printer and they do connect with the Lego bricks you can see. They click in place just like so and they're pretty sturdy, a lot sturdier than some of the other alternatives I've collected over the years. However, I would not trust these as much as Lego bricks to not damage or injure the brick at all and whilst they fit in fine and pop out very easily, I definitely would not be putting my minifigures in them just because I don't exactly trust the dimensions of my printer to be accurate enough to not injure my minifigures. But in this big box of 1,000 pieces, now I took a photo when I went to the Lego store of the 1,000 piece creator set, which I think cost something like £54. This 1,000 piece box of multiple pieces only cost me £10. Well, I think it was something like 11 99 but compared to the 55 pound i don't think a tenner's too bad and if these are anything like lego bricks and are a good alternative i'll be using these to build my lego display and hopefully it will give you a cheaper alternative to lego especially when filling in larger mocks these bricks will be very very helpful so let's put two of the boxes aside for now and we'll start off opening this one here and let's see what's inside so as i open it up you can see that the bricks do also come in a bag and all three of them seem to be mixed and you can see there's a variety of different colors you've got all the primary colors blue yellow red green and you've even got black and a dark bluish gray so let's get this bag open and look at all the different pieces you can see we have some two by fours we also have some two by threes we have some two by twos and that seems to be all of the bricks and then we also have some one by fours we've got a one by two and also a one by one and you can see here that i have managed to use one of every color just to show off all the different bricks and the different colors you'd be getting in this set and now that we know which pieces we're getting let's compare them to both the Lego bricks and my own custom 3D printed bricks. And as I've only printed the 2x4s, that is the piece of choice that we will be comparing them against. And if we first compare the colours of these bricks, you can see there definitely is a difference with these knockoffs being a bit brighter than the dark yellow of Lego. But as far as dimensions go, there isn't a noticeable difference by looking at them with my eyes. And the bricks go in fairly strongly. They seem to definitely be using tension a lot more than Lego bricks. And of course, where at the bottom Lego has these little bits jolted out, they've sort of tried to replicate it, but in their own way, using different dimensions. So these are definitely better at gripping the bricks than my 3D printed ones. However, the tops definitely seem to be a bit too big. And I think they would almost definitely split your minifigure's legs over time. So I'm definitely grateful that I'm going to be putting Lego bricks on top of them and rather than connecting my minifigures directly to. And if we compare Lego's red brick with the custom, 
I think there's less of a difference between these two, but you can tell this is more of a rosy dark red compared to Legos. And if you compare my red to it, obviously I haven't tried to match up the same red, but we've got a nice scale of reds here between the three of them. These are all very good bricks. Obviously the Lego one does come out on top. And if I could take the top of my 3D printed one and mesh it with the bottom of this other custom one, I think that would be really nice. And looking at the reds and the yellows, it seems different bricks have different styled bottoms as this yellow brick here seems to replicate Lego's pattern and it doesn't seem to be on any of the other bricks. So perhaps this is just an odd brick here and one that slipped into the batch as the rest of them really don't look anything like a Lego brick at the bottom because of their missing them lines that go in to the studs below. So I guess I would have to rank my 3D printed bricks above these because they don't all have what this yellow brick does. As you can see in the camera, me holding the brick like this, you probably can't tell the difference between this and a Lego brick as they seem to have the same dimensions. Perhaps this knockoff is a bit thicker around the edge. However, I'm really interested to see how these stack up. So let's get the other bags open, start building. And now that we have all the bricks on the desk, you can see that my desk has started to get a bit messy and perhaps I should have done this on a bigger surface. However, I've already started to sort of mock out how big I want the display to be. So perhaps I might need to go and get a few more of these boxes. And I'm very interested to see how many of each piece we get as there is meant to be a thousand pieces here. At the end of the video, I'll count up all the pieces I've used and all the pieces that remain to inform you how many pieces there were in this box. But this is how tall I want the display to be. This will go to the back of the unit and I have no idea how wide we can make it, but that's something we'll look at once we've started building. So let's begin. And as you can see, most of these blocks do seem to be this one by one brick here, which sort of makes sense. They're trying to use as less plastic and save themselves money as well as turn in a quick profit. But that said, you still get so many bricks. There probably is 1000 bricks here, as it says on the box. Now, I am running out of space to keep piling this up. You can see here all of the one by one bricks in the lid of this pick and brick. It is already overflowing. And there's definitely 100, if not two, of them bricks there. And look, there's plenty more across this pile. However, I've already used a lot of 1x4, 2x3s, and even a few of the 1x1 one one and 1x2 one bricks. And this is how many 2x4s you get, which I would have liked to have seen a bit more from this box. There's probably the odd ones laying around still on the desk but you seem to get about I don't know I'd say about 50 if not slightly more of these bricks I'll count them all at the end and especially the two by fours which I haven't used yet they are the biggest bricks so it's nice to see we're getting a load of two by threes which aren't too common with Lego but let's build some more of this stand and we'll see how many bricks we have left. So this piece here, this marks halfway down the stairs of this display unit. And as you can see, I am out of one by fours, perhaps one or two left in my pile. So I don't think I have enough to continue this side all the way down. So perhaps I have to pick up another one or perhaps I can go with a different alternative Lego brick and start building the bottom out of that where I can also review that box for you. So if you've seen any around in any UK stores, do let me know and I'll be sure to pick them up and let you know just how good they are. But if you've had a look and done the maths, that is 12 steps down. So there will be a total of 24 steps 
as the units are 48 studs deep and 24 times 2 is 48. So perhaps I'll stop down here at the 14th row and start building a cross after all. This is a very narrow staircase and I won't be able to display too many figures on it. So if we take a look at my other sort of rough build of this display unit, I have taken the bottom off for now, but on top I used all the other bricks that I hadn't used up the side and tried to create some sort of stair effect that would also be secure enough to hold my minifigures. And of course, it won't really be secure without the other side to it. But I wanted a system where the stairs would each support each other as they go down. So I didn't have to build a load of columns up the middle. But looking at all the one by one bricks we have here in the lid, I'll definitely be able to put a few columns going up the middle just to support it and give it overall a bit more of a solid structure. So the middle of the display never collapses in. And I think that is all the 2x4s of this box used up and I have completely rinsed them. There are no more, at least no more that I can see just yet. And now, oh, I found one more, a nice red one to fit in this gap. But now we can move on to getting all of the 2x1 bricks in here to complete the steps. And as you can see, I've tried to use more of the grey and black pieces in this as only the top four studs will be shown. And eventually, when I get the panels to stand my minifigures on, not even them top four studs will be shown. So it will hide all of the darker colours very nice, especially when there's so many on the side here. It just makes it look a bit brighter than using the bland colours to dull the display down. And as you can see by looking in my boba mug here, there's a lot of black and grey two by ones. So I'll have to dig around for the colourful pieces and see what I can piece together. And now that we have this portion of the stairs complete, you can just see how colourful it is, especially now I've removed the fronts of these black and grey two by four bricks. So only the tops show in, and once again, once that's covered, it is just pure colour all the way up. The sides I'm not too fussed about as I will have my other Star Wars displays or my ships and spears that you may have seen in their own videos. But my main focus is keeping this front as colourful as possible. I don't mind if the odd grey gets through but I'm trying to prevent more bricks like this black here and this 1x4 seeping through. Now I can't be too picky as I am only using the pieces from this. I'm not going to be mixing any Lego with this. But now we can continue a bit more on the side. And whilst I don't have the 2x4s to brick this out. I have no idea how wide I want this. And this is over halfway through. So another box would finish off the stairs. And I definitely have enough 2x3s that I can make something work with them. If I need more width. Now that I've got all the pieces back on it, perhaps I need to build around here a nice little support that will go to the bottom or even closer to the centre. And I definitely have enough again of the one by one bricks, but I think this is as far as I'm going to build it. I have to do a bit of the math to see how many minifigures I have to go on this display. And that will tell me just how many more pieces I need, especially on this side. And then I'll know if I need another box or perhaps another two. And for only a tenner, I don't mind buying a few of these as the bricks really do hold up. And ignoring when I crumbled the top, they are holding another hundred or so bricks. The joints are nice and sturdy and you could probably pile a few of them together, wiggle it around and they won't fall apart. Even then, a lot of the bricks made impact with the floor from my desk, which is about 80 centimetres and they were still connected to each other. So they're not as weak as any of the other brick connections that I've seen in these Lego alternatives. And if you're anywhere near a home bargains, I do recommend just grabbing one box and seeing how you feel about them. 
even if you're just using them to pile up the inside of mocks as long as you're not leaving them connected to your minifigures for an extended period of time what harm can they do so let's start counting my minifigures and seeing how many more bricks i need Now, if any of you were counting along with me, you'll have counted about 370 figures, I think it was, which is a ton. And I definitely have the other 30 or so displayed on Mox at the minute. So I would like to make this base account for about 400 minifigures. And with there being 24 columns going down, and I guess that every other column will have a minifigure zigzag across for it just so you can see the most of all the minifigures and i would also preferably like to have the minifigures on the ends of both sides so perhaps this might be best going in the middle of it with two separate displays but that means i would have to have eight lots of four and a lot of two just to make it even which if you've already worked out means that this needs to be about 34 studs across now i know i already have the space for this as I've got a 48 by 48 and a 38 by 48 base plate already down. So it will be taking up the majority of that base plate. Giving me that 48 or so stud width to make any of my displays. And hang up all my ships and speeders that I make. Now this does mean I'll probably need to find another display for all my bigger ships. You saw there my custom Django Fett Slave 1 which I will show off in a future video, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you don't miss it. But there is not really enough space in the Calyx unit to display all of them larger ships, especially the X-Wing and TIE Fighter. So I might end up putting another shelf up for them or finding somewhere else for them to display. Otherwise, I might have to piece them out and use them for a smaller version of themselves. But as you can see, I barely made this about 12 studs across and to have enough pieces not only to do the bottom, but then to also make this about 34 studs across will take a lot of these boxes. So I'll have to figure out another way to balance them across with perhaps this 2x3, which can fill up a bit more of the width, which will mean I only need to buy one or two more of these boxes. But I'll play around with it for a bit and see what I come up with. I thought we had by far more of these one by one pieces, which still might be the case, but looking at them compared to the full cup of one by twos we have, I don't know, I think it's going to be very close. As I assume the amount of one by twos in this cup is about the same as the one by ones, and I suppose we do have many more one by ones out on the desk, but we definitely got more one by twos than I thought, and even the one by fours. I have quite a small pole down here after all the pieces I've used to line the outside wall of the display. There's definitely a very nice selection of pieces in this set. And though, of course, the smaller pieces do come in a higher quantity, which can be expected, especially when shopping somewhere like Home Bargains for these Lego alternatives. It is nice to see there's still so many of the other pieces, especially the larger ones, like the 2x3s as of course they will not be as cheap to produce as they are more plastic and it looks like most of if not all of these remaining pieces are one by ones which is somewhat good as my cup has completely run out of space so i'll be getting no more one by twos in the cup and these will be great for building that support okay maybe one more brick that my display so desperately needs and means that it doesn't take up too much space and perhaps I can work in little displays around the back and though no one will see them I will know they're there so let's bring back the display and see what more we can do especially with the 40 plus 1x3s as it would only be 12 high if I am buying another one of these that will do nearly four more layers which will increase that width to about 10 minifigures wide out of the 17 we need which means perhaps three of these boxes will complete my full display. 
Now it's going to be complicated for me to show you on camera completing all of these other bricks so give me a second and I'll be back when they're done. Hello there again and as you can sort of see I have now continued the stairs made them a bit longer with the 2x3s and I've made it to the halfway mark so I should definitely only need another two maybe just more than two to complete this so in the next few weeks i'll be sure to return and hopefully they'll still have them so i can pick up another two and for 30 pounds to get three thousand bricks again i'm going to count all these bricks up in a minute and perhaps i could have done it before i started but to get three thousand bricks for 30 pounds to be able to build this massive display it would literally cost hundreds of pounds in lego bricks and now if I turn this around for you, it's not too unstable. I don't have to be too careful with it, but I just don't want to break it too much as I have built these grey and black supports, which have used pretty much most of my grey and black pieces. I got a few more one by fours. I got one grey, four black, or actually six black, but I've used up all of my two by two and two by threes in grey and black. And I have a few more one by ones, but even then most of these have been used as I have built this like the birch trees from Lego Minecraft and if you've built any sets with birch trees you will know that I've alternated between a 2x2 two two and four 1x1s and then continue that pattern all the way up it creates a very nice pattern on the inside and I've even done this for this middle leg here and these represent the half point from this wall so I'll continue another distance out and also the half point down so you can see and begin to get a scale of just how big this is going to be i'm afraid that's all i can do for now so i will return once i've got the other two packages but i'll have to put this somewhere safe and now i know i've got all the space for my minifigures they can go back in a box and i'll make another video when they're on display i know a load of people aren't fond of alternatives to lego however i think especially for a model this size and when i need so many bricks they're going to be covered by Lego bricks anyway. I might as well get a nice cheap alternative than spend hundreds of pounds on Lego. And if you have any big models coming up, I do recommend going to Home Bargains if you're lucky enough to be in the UK and picking up a box for yourself. And if not, check your local stores as so many different stores do alternatives to Lego now with the toy being so popular to not just kids but adults. Be sure to check out your local area and you might find some for yourself. That is all from me for today's video. Leave a like if you enjoy, and let me know down in the comments if you buy alternative bricks from anywhere else. This doesn't mean I'm gonna stop posting Lego content as Lego is clearly the better of the building bricks. But do subscribe if you wanna see me finish this display stand. And as always, may the bricks be with you.